Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure to unplug the appliance before beginning. To replace the drain pump in your washer, first use a T20 Torx bit to remove the screws at the back, securing the top panel. Now pull the panel back and lift it up to remove. Use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs, securing the control panel, and pull the panel off. Use the screwdriver to open the pump access door. Pull the drain tube off of the door and drain any excess water. Now carefully lift up the front of the washer and use a wood block or a comparable sturdy object to support it. You can now remove the bottom mounting screws securing the front panel. With the screws removed, remove the support and gently lower the appliance to the floor. Next, uninstall the top mounting screws. Pull the front panel out from the bottom, release it from the clip on the right side, then push the panel to the left to remove. Use pliers to remove the pinch clamps to release the bellows, the drain hose, and the drain tube from the pump. Disconnect the wire harness and pull the old pump out of the rubber mounts. Prepare the new drain pump for installation by transferring the gasket from the old pump to the new one. Now insert the new pump into the rubber mounts. Connect the wire harness. Slide a new pinch clamp onto the bellows. Position the bellows on the new pump and use pinch clamp pliers to secure the clamp. Attach the drain hose and drain tube in the same manner. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the pins on the frame with the holes in the panel while hooking the tab onto the dispenser hinge. Make sure the drain pump gasket protrudes through the hole in the panel and snap the panel into position. Replace the mounting screws on top. Lift and support the washer to replace the bottom mounting screws. With the screws installed, remove the support and lower the appliance. Attach the drain tube to the pump access door and snap the door shut. Reinstall the control panel by aligning the tabs with the slots in the frame and snap the panel into place. Make sure the support rail is properly positioned. Now slide the front edge of the top panel under the control panel. Align the panel with the support rail and the pins on the frame, then push down. Replace the screws in the back. You're now ready to plug the power cord back in and confirm that the washer works properly.